Hi, I'm Dan Schmidt. I do a motorcycle racing TV show called Team Chicago Challenge. I'm here doing at the EAA Air Adventure 2022. My email is teamdan45 at gmail.com and I'd love to hear from my audience. My website is teamchicago.tv. So we're going to look at what's going on at the EAA Adventure for 2022. Today we're going to look at some of the modern aircraft. We're going to talk to some of the people involved with uh, some of the Warbirds also. So, so let's check out what's going on at EAA Air Venture 2022. Yes, this is unlike anything else. 650,000 people came to the EAA Air Venture 2022. Total amount of show planes was 3,226, including 1,375 vintage aircraft, 1,156 homemade aircraft, home builds, 369 warbirds, 137 ultralights, 87 seaplanes, 77 aero batic aircraft and 25 rotorcraft. More than 12,000 campsites for 40,000 visitors. Commercial exhibitors was 803 and the media representatives was 797 including me. As I spot this beautiful looking seaplane I looked at this plane last year and talked to one of the representatives from ICON. This year, I had a great opportunity to talk to Suzanne Clavet and Andy Jackson from ICON Aircraft. Hi, welcome to ICON Aircraft. I'm Suzanne Clavet, the uh, media and content manager here. And this is Andy Jackson. Hi there. I am the uh, Flight Training Network Manager, so I recruit instructors and flight schools that want to fly the A5 and help our owners out all around the country. So this is the Icon A5. Our target market is anyone looking for adventure. It's easy, safe, and fun, and all you need is a sport pilot certificate with a seaplane endorsement, and it's super safe. So some of the features that make this plane so safe and what I like to call forgiving uh, for new pilots who are especially prone to uh, make those learning mistakes when we all start out, um, the spin resistant airframe, so the, you'll notice the change in the shape of the wings which allows the wing to stall at different points in the wing earlier and keeps it stable throughout the stall. Also we have a full aircraft parachute, we call it the ICON parachute system, the IPS. It's also got an incredibly slow stall speed with the flaps down at 39 knots, um, so uh, it really slows things down when students are learning in the pattern. Um, in addition to that, it's just a really stable aircraft and, and really forgiving for any kind of mistakes that you might make, particularly in the pattern where most students do make those mistakes. So uh, target market, who, who, who do you think is going to want to buy this plane? Our target market is anyone looking for adventure. I mean, you can take this plane literally anywhere you want to go. You can fold the wings in, put it in a trailer, tow it behind your vehicle. It lands on land, it lands on water. It takes yeah, av gas and mo gas, so no matter where you are, you can fill it up and, and take it to your next destination. Information, where do people go? Oh, you can. So for more information, visit us at iconaircraft.com. Everything's there, flight training, um, purchasing your Icon A5, anything you're looking for. Thank you, Suzanne and Andy. If you look at the interior of the A5, the folks from Icon Aircraft have written this, and I'm going to read what they say. Chances are, if we asked you to name a sports car or a sports bike, you could do it. But what about a sport plane? The Icon A5 is meant not for commercial or commuter flights, but rather to enjoy the sheer adventure of flying. It turns flying from a mode of transportation to a sport, what flying was meant to be. And this is a short video clip that they sent me.
It is a great looking aircraft. And now we're gonna take a look at the Forum Plaza. During the week, over 1,400 sessions were held to teach people welding, fabric stretching, fiberglass, and hundreds of other skills. And then we are also celebrating birthdays for certain aircraft. 75 years for the Beechcraft Bonanza, 60 years for the Dyke Delta, 60 years for the Bauer Flybaby, 50 years for Vans Aircraft, and 50 years for the aircraft from Burt Rattan. He thrilled the world of home builders with unique and radical aircraft he called the Varies. The demand for the plans soar upwards, and the most popular one was the Long EZ with thousands of completed and flying. Over 1,500 sets of plans were sold. It was also 50 year anniversary for the Brand Robinson KR1 and 40 years for the CGS Hawk. As we see this helicopter being moved in the Warbird area, you can see they are now parking it next to the Huey. We're going to take a look at this Huey and we're going to talk to the pilot of this famous helicopter in the Vietnam era. We are looking at the Bell UH-1 Iroquois. It was produced by the Bell Helicopter Company, and it was the first turbine-powered helicopter in service with the United States military. It was introduced in 1959, and over 2,000 were built. Let's talk to the pilot, Darren Sopek. Good afternoon, my name is Darren. I brought the UH-1 helicopter into Oshkosh today. This is a UH-1H helicopter. It's uh, built in 1962 as a D model. It's upgraded to a UH-1H helicopter shortly after a return from Vietnam. So we've been uh, flying the helicopter since 2017. Uh, we've got two independent owners who are very supportive of veterans. Uh, one of them is a Vietnam veteran who flew helicopters uh, during Vietnam. So uh, as much as possible, we do events uh, to support Vietnam vets, show our gratitude with the helicopter. Uh, of course, we, we never charge for rides or anything of that nature. We're just doing uh, what we can do to support veterans. We're going to be here at Oshkosh up through Friday. We've got a, a gentleman named General Brady who is going to get a presentation. He was a former uh, Medal of Honor winner. So we'll do a presentation at this Huey toward the end of the Oshkosh show. Do you have any additional questions? So, uh... How many people are involved with uh, maintaining this? And we have an entire volunteer force of pilots as well as mechanics. Uh, we've got five pilots that fly the Huey on a regular basis. Um, two of them are owners of the helicopter, and our maintenance support is also volunteer maintenance for us. Uh, they're all former military crew chiefs, mechanics, and uh, of course, uh, one of our uh, mechanics is NIA, who has the authority to sign off our inspections and do what we need to do to maintain this aircraft in a safe operating condition. So, website, where can we get more information? Combat Helicopters, LLC. We're based in New Richmond, Wisconsin. Thank you, Darren, as we take another look at the UH-1D. It's one of the most widely manufactured and used helicopters. The top rotor blade is 48 feet long. And now we're looking at the monument in Warbird Plaza, honoring the Army, the Air Force, the Navy, the Marine Corps, and the Coast Guard. All five services use aircraft. In fact, the Air Force was the Army Air Corps before it became the Air Force in the 1950s. 
The EAA salutes all the owners and the pilots that keep these warbirds flying. Duty, sacrifice, honor, country. And I spotted a small plaque to an old friend of mine who died in 2017, Valdo Lennox. He was one of the first pilots to talk to me back in 2012, the second time I came to do TV at the EAA. There's also a plaque honoring the 80 volunteers from the Doolittle Raid over Tokyo. And as we see this P-51, similar to the plane that Valdo owned, in the background I spot a building with his name on it is the Youth Education Building. What a great honor to a great man. And I always considered him as a friend and he was from Burr Ridge, Illinois. And now it is time for the air show, and this is a pretty spectacular air show put on by the Red Bull Air Force. They use this helicopter to take up parachuters at different levels. And then they bring in their airplane. So let's watch this air show at the EAA Air Venture 2022. I 
This portion of the air show is going to end with this aircraft making a high speed landing and that will end the Red Bull Air Force air show. And now we're looking at the Air One Sports EVTOL. This electric aircraft will have the range close to 100 miles. I had the opportunity to talk to the CEO and co-founder of this company, Randy Plower. My name is Randy Plower, I'm the CEO and co-founder of AIR. Uh, AIR designs and builds uh, electric aircraft. This is a two-seater fully electric uh, motor, motor by eight motors and four batteries. We have a range of about 100 miles. Uh, recharges, the set recharges. Uh, market is the regular market of people that wants to fly, uh, the regular people that don't want to be a pilot necessarily but wants to go and to use the air for transportation. What kind of a license is someone going to need to uh, have this? This is intended to be something in the sort of uh, sports license, so 15 to 12, 20 or 30 hours. Mm -hmm. We are in discussion now with the FAA regarding that. And. Um, uh, <laughs> Charging, how long does that take? And, uh, uh, same as, a, this is a 74 hour, uh, kilowatt hour battery, same as a Tesla, so it takes like eight hours at home, or 30 minutes to an hour in a supercharger. Mm. And good for 100 miles. Sorry? And good for 100 miles. Good for 60 to 100 miles, depending on load, of course, and conditions. Right, 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 right. And uh, easy to learn how to... <laughs> Extremely easy. We have a flight simulator. You are invited to use it and to, to try it. Oh, really? Uh, we have a single stick operation, so mm -hmm. no paddles, no throttle. Uh, very intuitive. We call it fly by intent. Mm -hmm. uh, the instrument basically translates your maneuvers, in, in the hand maneuvers, into maneuvers of the aircraft and keeps you in a very, very safe envelope for, for operations and, and safety. And uh, when do you figure production is going to be? Um, are you taking orders now? We are taking orders. We have sold close to 200 actually by now. Mm -hmm. uh, we take deposits of about $1,000. It can be done on our website, www.airev.aero. Uh, and we go into production late 2024 uh, after we get the certification done by the FAA. Thank you, Randy. This is a very modern looking aircraft and I had the opportunity to use the simulator and it was quite amazing feeling what it would be like to fly this electric aircraft. As you look at some of the photos of this aircraft and some of the drawings, it looks like something from the future. They are estimating that the retail price will be about $150,000. You will need approximately 30 hours of training. Top speed will be approximately 155 miles an hour with a 100 mile range. Be able to fly for approximately one hour on a charge. This aircraft uses a single stick control which I found to be very easy to use. Maximum load is 550 pounds. And one thing we have to understand is more of these easy to fly aircraft become available, aircraft that can take off and land nearly anywhere, there will be 
regulations controlling when and where you can fly. This is a photo of the full-size aircraft in the shop. This one has flown, it has been tested, but it has not had any manned flights yet. And if you watch my show over the years, you will know that I have covered many, many new aircraft. This is Driven to Fly, the flying car that flew and went into production, but I'm sad to report that this aircraft has been sold to the Chinese. It is not readily available at this moment from what I understand, but the team that built it in Massachusetts did a great job. And now we're looking at the Maverick. This is another flying car. It's basically a dune buggy that uses a para wing to fly. It did have a couple crashes, no injuries. The company that built this is a religious organization working on missionary work. So they are not going further with the Maverick you are interested, they are still in Florida. If you would like to develop the Maverick flying car, I just hope the folks from Air One remember me the first time they fly their aircraft in the USA. Now, if I would have won the Mega Millions, I would be buying one of the Icon A5 seaplanes. I would be given a thousand dollar deposit on the Air One aircraft and I'd be looking around to pick up one of the Maverick flying cars. For more information on the EAA, the Experimental Aircraft Association, their websites are eaa.org, airadventure.org. And make plans to join us next year, July 24th through 30th, 2023. This is the greatest show on earth. Contact me, and I love to hear from my audience. It's teamdan45 at gmail.com. Remember, you can always search on YouTube with Dan Schmidt Motorcycle Racing for great motorcycle racing action. Dan Schmidt Politics to learn what makes America great. And I highly encourage you to visit the World of Motorcycle Museum in Winnemac, Indiana four miles south of North Judson on Indiana Highway 39. Give them a call first at 574-896-3172. It's a great trip and a great collection of motorcycles.